Sorry about that. Yeah, My internet yeah, yeah. is, uh, it hates the world. And I, last time my internet reset, I had to also restart my computer to be able to reconnect. Did that last year? This time I just unplugged my Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi USB dongle and plugged it back in and that worked. Anyway. I mean, hey, that's USB for you. Whatever works. You know what? I just hate the whole world. Anyway, uh, we have Richard Saigawa here. Don't worry, it hits you back. From Happiness of the Katakuris. He's he's a cool dude who likes to uh he he's he he he's he's a grifter. He's basically doing the Nigerian prince scheme, but claims to be a direct descendant of the Queen of England. Sick. I believe it. He's great. I love him. I'll give him that also makes him old money. Yeah. Get him out of here. Um, he shows up disheveled to the, uh, like, in the bed and breakfast that the woman he's interested in runs, and, like, hobbles his way to the top of the staircase so he can throw his leg onto the, um, banister. on, yeah, onto the banister like he's doing here, and then just declares to her, I would like you to eat me. <laughs> I love him so much. Anyway, uh, next we have Scar from the Lion King. He he has right. some songs, so it check. I think Lion King works, right? Yeah, I'm surprised I, I don't have Simba. Uh, we've done Simba. I didn't want to do Simba again. I like how my brain Simba from the Lion diamond. King two and a half. I'm not. Th there's there's not a two and a half. Yes, there is. There's a one and a half. Oh shit! I'm a fake fan. Yeah. Are are you hungry for? Oh god, I don't remember the song right now. Yeah, try my buddy Pumbaa here because he is a treat. Come on down and dine on this day's swine. All you gotta do is get in line. Are you can yup 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 for some bacon? Yup yup yup. He's a big pig. Yup yup. You could be a big pig too. Boy. How the fuck do you know? Thought that? you said you weren't gonna sing. Well, yeah, you know wait, what? I... Yeah, what the fuck? That was your fault. How did you you memorize? No, I forgot the first line. I'm a fucking fake fan. <laughs> How many times do you watch Lion King? Holy shit. One and a half? A few. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's, uh, Gildenstern, cr cr what? Gildenstern is dead? That, that musical. It's the adaptation of that. Rosencrantz and Gildenstern are dead. That's what Lion King one and a half is. I, yeah, know, I know none of those references, but I, okay, I'm gonna make I only know that movie. because of a video Shakespeare essay. Shakespeare characters? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every I, Lion I King is a Shakespeare play. Like, it's what Lion I mean, King yeah. is. It's Shakespeare for children. Yep. Anyway, um, next we have Sebastian Wilder from La La Land. I personally think La La Land is garbage, but um, this is just Ryan Gosling mansplaining jazz to me, and that's really fun. He can oh, he can mansplain jazz to me any day of the week. So, so far, he's mansplaining Jazz, and Scar looks like he's about to kill him, and Shrek and Spongebob are just giving their reactions to it. <laughs> yeah, Shrek is Shrek is clearly over it, while Spongebob is excited to learn something new. I mean, the Spongebob... He's ready! Oh, oh man, my he's god! So he's sorry to bother us. Where is the fucker for, bitch? Dan. Overall internships, holy shit, I need one of those. Yeah, we did it. Um, yeah. Next we have Shrek, everyone knows who Shrek is, and then finally we have Willy Wonka. The good Gene Wilder version. The, the correct version. Yeah, the correct version. And that's our cast, but I think that these tribes are boring because they're sorted alphabetically, so we're just gonna... Uh... Wait, re-simulate's wrong, sorry. We're just gonna shuffle them real quick. Bam, we did it. Oh... Let me just save this real quick. It does not look that different, but you know what? Fucking yo. You know what? It's musicals. Br -br -br. I'm doing this thing that I'm supposed to do, like earlier, but uh, I'm not a professional, so I'm doing it now. I mean, is any of this professional now? No, nothing. Nothing matters. Everything is dead. God is dead, especially. Oh, so, he's been dead. So, who are we rooting for? Chris, you get to go first. Uh, ooh. 
My heart says Willy Wonka, but I'm going to say Aaron Burr just so he gets yeeted out of the 18th. You, you hope you can Thomas curse Aaron Burr out of the game. I am trying to channel Tom, the Thomas curse. Otherwise, I think Aaron Burr is going to run a train on this game. Okay. Natalie, who are you rooting for today? Um, you know, I, I was coming in hot with the Hamilton praise. And I've, I've been I've been supporting Jimmy Kudo, like, every time. So I, I won't support him this time. I will support Alexander Hamilton. Okay. Because so. Whoa. I, I, I want him to kill Aaron Burr. Well, I mean, you did vote out Chris in Survivor yesterday. <laughs> so yes. in that wow. way, Alexander Hamilton has won. Uh, Thomas, who are you rooting for today? Yeah. All right. I just have to say, Natalie, support someone from a good musical. I'm going to support Cool Trainer Jake from Pokemon Live. <laughs> the most obvious oh, no. play of all time. Listen, but he's so cool. Um, Look, I still haven't seen Pokemon Live. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm a fake fan. How do you... How? how I, I haven't you, either. So. How many times and not one of those times you could have seen Pokemon Live? Here's the thing. Like, we've streamed it. You could have watched this stream with us. When? When did you stream it? Literally. We streamed it like five times. Yeah, after yeah. Sack Anime, winter. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't remember this. I have no recollection of this. I, so. I, I have literally seen them stream it <laughs> in Discord, and I just did not give a fuck to watch. Anyway, uh, we I'm... We had that time where Millie joined us. That was awesome. Yeah, it was great. Anyway, I'm going to root for uh, Don Underwear. He, he's a true romantic. And anyone that can organize an anarchist theater collective can, can win a game of Survivor. Or immediately flame out. Shut the fuck yeah. up. I mean, there's only one or two options with that. Uh, Alexander Hamilton has already found the legacy advantage. Cheating bitch. Um, it'll keep him safe when there are six players remaining. Is it a powdered wig? No, I think it's a quill. That would be on brand. He's gonna Wait, use it. He's, he's gonna, gonna use write. it to write some really, some really sick diss tracks. He can write while he uh, write while he's. Uh, he can write like he's running out of time. Yeah. I can say that lyric. God damn it. Yeah. So uh, our, let's see, the Greek tribe wins immunity. So that's Hamilton, like Ash, that. Turk, Don Underwear, Elwood Blues, Jimmy Kudo, Judas, Patrick, Scar, and Sebastian. They also get Flint. So good for them. This is All great. right, Chris, we each have a one in ten chance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right out, yeah, I know. Right out the gate, Alfred Packer and Willy Wonka have a minor disagreement. <laughs> Why eat candy? We can eat people. Yeah. Can we yeah, compromise I, on I eating think, the Oompa Loompas? I think Willy Wonka wants to turn people into blueberries and then eat them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alfred's but, like, but you need that lean meat. It's good for you. Yeah, you need that long pig. Yeah. It's, and it's the, better for you. And then uh, Cool Trainer Jake and Spongebob have a minor disagreement. Thomas, you know Don, what my theory Tom, here is? the only one person wearing yellow. No, no, hear me out, hear me out. Yeah? Spongebob's ability... Spongebob's ability is damp, which means Cool Trainer Jake's electrode can't explode. Oh no, that dastard. <laughs> that sponge. How come I can imagine... Cool training this throw like nine volt batteries at SpongeBob. <laughs> He's like, my electrode needs to explode. It's the only way out. And SpongeBob's just there. My goddamn it, SpongeBob. SpongeBob, it's, it's the only way we can win. And SpongeBob's like, no. SpongeBob, no. <laughs> I want to hang out. Battle of the century already happening. Listen, I'm sure these two, if they would not fight now, they'd both make the final three. <laughs> I mean. Maybe. Maybe. I, I don't totally believe. And then uh, Aaron Burr and Shrek have a minor disagreement. Aaron uh, Burr is, is just trying to flex on Shrek, and Shrek does not give a fuck. I think what happened here is that, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think Shrek's just unimpressed with Hamilton. He's like, I have my own musical, and I think it's a lot better, personally. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you made billions of dollars? No, I have. Fuck you. <laughs> I have four movies. You were only in Glass Onion. 
That's right, he was. Oh my god. And uh, Aaron Burr and Jake Blues form an alliance. I mean, he... Jake Blues has a sick hat. He does. Does Aaron Burr just want... Is, is this just J Jake Jake's hat and Aaron wants it? Yeah. Honestly. He's, only, he's only five loyalty. It's like... He, he's, not, he's not loyal to Jake. He's loyal to the hat. Yeah. He's like, maybe if I had this hat, my country would accept me. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if I wear this hat, I can beat Thomas Jefferson in an election. <laughs> yeah. He just needs it's Jake Blues to sing. Like, I don't, I don't need you know policies or procedures. I just need a sick ass hat. Yeah. I don't need opinions. I all I need is a hat. Yeah, it's magic. It's how hats work. Yep. It's how that's uh. That's how hats work. See, I have a hat on now, so I'm right. Holy shit. I did it, everybody. Yeah. I'm so proud of myself. Plus 10 charisma. Thanks. Do you, do you want me to wear my plus 20 charisma hat? Yes. On top of each other. Plus oh. 30. Oh, no, no. It won't fit well. It's like a beanie. Oh, well, still. There we go. <laughs> oh, shit. Hell <laughs> yeah. The classic. The plus 50 hat. I'm just going to keep wearing hats. I have three within range. This is this is quality entertainment that you're all here for. What else are, what else are we here? There we go. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Can you put the magic carp on top of the squid hat? No, this is, this is a good squid hat. This isn't like the shitty ones that you see people walking around in that are like uncomfortable and made of trash foam. This is like a high quality squid hat. Shit. Priorities. I got it from a hentai booth. That's how you know it's good. I don't oh, think you want yeah. that hat. You don't, you, you don't know where that hat's been. <laughs> oh, I know exactly where that hat's been. Get that off your head. I, I paid 30 American dollars in 2011 money for that hat. <laughs> That's like what a million you? dollars today. <laughs> yeah. Those shitty hats you see people walking around in, in 2011 dollars, those were like 10 bucks. And now they're 50. And, and they're not any better. Anyway, no. um, Elwood Bulu's and Scar find something in common. Their One heads the face their in the same direction. Yeah, but their eyes aren't. Oh, that's true. Well, they gotta look into each other's eyes. They I are think both tired of someone's shit, and they're looking at that someone. I think Scar just really likes Elwood's uh, Wait, guard. Wait, uh, guys, uh, I'll be back in a minute. A bird hit my window. <laughs> this is like the fourth time this has happened. Okay, I think I think Scar just really likes Elwood's drip. I mean, it is pretty good. Yeah. Especially the sideburns, like, goddamn. Yeah. Okay, and uh, Alexander Hamilton and Don Underwear form an alliance. Natalie, we've got this. Yes, this is this is the greatest alliance ever. They're they're going to to win uh, all the elections. They're gonna uh, they're they're gonna make some things happen. They're gonna make America great again, but like they're, not no, shitty. No, no, no. Not in the shitty way. Yeah, I guess maybe. No, I, I, I can't say MAGA. I, I can't. You just did. I, 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 I meant to make anime great again. I did. Okay. That's I saw what, someone. I saw someone in the bad version of that half at uh, Costco yesterday, and I was very, I was, I was very like, I, I wanted to yell at her. On my drive up, I saw unironic uh, Kennedy supporters. Unironic what? Yeah, they they they're at the they were at the state fair. They were Kennedy supporters. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, they they tried to talk to us, and I just went. I'm sorry. I won't vote for someone with brain worms. You should have. I should. I should have. I should have. I mean, here's the thing, though. Of all the candidates, there's only one that's got that dog in them, and it's RFK Jr. Because <laughs> he ate that dog. Okay. It's, it's fucked, but it's correct. Yeah. So anyway, who's going home from Radio City? Uh, Dr Jake. Jake. <laughs> Why Thomas Jake? Here to... Because Thomas picked him. No, Tom. Oh, oh, cool trainer Jake, not Jake Blues. Yeah. Okay. 
I think I think that's a convincing <laughs> argument. Jake. Yeah, cool trainer Jake's going home. First <laughs> vote, Willy Wonka. Why do I gotta John Dorian? Yeah. Willy Wonka, JD. Okay, it's uh four to four, two votes left. As JD is voted out for uh six to four. He wasn't a real doctor, so fuck off. <laughs> No, he has a do doctor's. He he's a doctor. He's a doctor on TV. That doesn't count. That's true. They did open a closed hospital. Like they they used a hospital for filming, like a a um, an abandoned hospital. So people would actually show up to the hospital seeking, like where they were filming Scrubs, seeking medical treatment. Oh, that's that's bad. And they'd be well, like, "This is not a hospital anymore. This is a film set." <laughs> They should have put a sign out there saying hospital closed. People are stupid. I mean, yeah, that's that's the problem is that you could put up all the signs in the world and people will still ignore them. They didn't have anything serious, though, at least. I, I mean, yeah. Anyway, uh, here's here's Turk's expression that JD already getting voted out. Wait, JD's gone? Yeah, JD's yeah. gone. We didn't. Good riddance. We didn't need him. Have, uh, your, Turk, have your weird fantasies another place. Turk finds an idol. Is it? Is it a? Uh, JD was holding him back. JD. Turk's <laughs> all mine now. Is it JD's stethoscope? Yeah, yeah. It's JD's he stethoscope. <laughs> JD, uh, JD found the idol. He's like, look at this idol. And Turk's like, next round. Okay. Um, so the the people that lost last time have won immunity this time. I'm so proud of them, and they get a target. Okay, well, we cut the dead weight. They, yeah, they got rid of JD. He was zoning out during the challenge. <laughs> They're like, come the fuck on, JD. That and when they needed electrode to explode most, SpongeBob was there. <laughs> uh, Shrek's impressing the rest of the team. He's like, I, I have two musicals. I just, I love so much that it's Shrek is impressing the rest of the team, and it's this image. <laughs> Has he made Wait, is Shrek small? bragging about Shrek 5? I think he's, I think he's talking about uh, the the fairy godmother cover of Holding Out for a Hero. Okay. And he's taking credit for the choreography. Damn. I mean, it is his movie. Yeah, so it's his I mean, movie. He did that. Like, also, that... <laughs> the Shrek version. Wow, he's doing it twice? <laughs> he told Holy the same God. story and everyone's just equally impressed. He played the song and then put it on loop. Yeah. <laughs> just like we do in uh, Pokemon Live. Oh, man. Uh, Hamilton and Judas have a minor disagreement. Hill to Jesus is wrong, to be fair, I think Judas gives off serious Aaron Burr vibes. You know, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, he would. One of them sold out Jesus, the other one tried to stage an insurrection from the state of Louisiana. I'm just saying. You know, same difference. Yeah. They're like the same character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except Judas is cool. Yep. Jesus was the ultimate cop. He was cops. He was God's cop. Yeah. Uh, Hamilton gets in a major. gets in a major fight with Ash Ketchum. Does Ash believe he's a Pokemon? No, I, I was gonna say um, Ham Hamilton's favorite Tom Cruise movie isn't Risky Business. <laughs> He's a Mission Impossible 2, man. Oh, no. Yeah, vote him out. Get him out of here. And then uh, Hamilton and Elwood Blues find something in common. It's definitely not that they're looking in the same direction. No, wait. In fact, Thomas, hmm. they yeah. stand back to back. They, they have full range. They see everything. Holy shit. They're too powerful. <laughs> if we just stand back to back, we'll see the camp. That's so true. You can see everything that's going on. But superpower of perception. Yeah. And a, a new alliance forms with Alexander Hamilton, Don Underwear, 
Elwood Blues and Sebastian Wilder. I. So they. So do you think each of them saw one of them and they're like, "We need them." Yeah. Well, I think what happened here. Because Hamilton wait, and wait, Don wait. Underwear already had an alliance. So I think Hamilton has just brought Elwood Blues into this, and Underwear brought in Sebastian Wilder. I agree with that, but I like to think they brought in some... Because Hamilton and Elwood Blues can see everything, right? Yeah. Sebastian Wilder can mansplain anything, mm -hmm. and Don Underwear can smell nothing but his underwear. <laughs> I don't know how that helps. I mean... Listen, Alyssa, you gotta respect the team, though. Is he I'm, just their mascot? Is that what you're saying? I mean, he does look like yeah. a mascot. Yeah, he's... Yeah. Okay. Who are they going to vote out? See ya, Jimmy. <laughs> I mean, they just did... Uh, Ash just got in a fight with Hamilton over... Yeah, I think they're they're voting out Ash. Yeah. Listen, Ash, okay, Ash if, if Jimmy does nothing until the final few, like, episodes, I will love that so much. <laughs> That's what he did It'll last be... time. No, no, it'll be just like Conan in the Land of You're Conan. right, yeah. <laughs> it'll be just <laughs> like that. Turk I mean, plays his idol. If it works, it works. It's all part of his plan, no matter what. Turk saw what happened just to JD. Observing. He Turk okay. knew what happened to JD. He's not letting it happen to him. He played his idol. He didn't receive any votes. First vote, Ash. Yeah, fuck that kid. Jimmy Kudo. All. Ash. No. Jimmy. Ash, Jimmy, Ash, Holy Ash, God. Jimmy. Jimmy. Ash is voted out six to four. Hell yeah, fuck those kids. We did it. We we made a successful call as a group. I was I'm so proud of us. Yeah. I wasn't down for that. And uh Shrek finds the idol. What the fuck? He's this guy's been given everything. I think they gave him the idol. They were so impressed. The tribe they collectively they searched. <laughs> And went, Shrek, here you go. They took it from Turk. <laughs> it's the Oscar for Shrek, whatever. Yeah, yeah. This is this is Shrek winning best animated film. Yep. Oh, shit. I'm surprised Wamus isn't on the cast. Did Wamus appear in a musical? No, but Wamus visited Radio City. He did, yeah. They also visited Radio City. Okay. And the concierge stopped me from heckling the ticket seller. Yeah. She knew I wasn't there to buy a ticket. That's rude. I just wanted to ask about Pokemon Live. <laughs> Is it, hey, you guys have any Pokemon Live stuff hanging around? I don't even know what the fuck that was. So, um, the, the tri- it, we're just flipping off who went- flip, flipping back and forth over immunity winners. So I guess, um, Ash Ketchum was Ash holding was them animal. back. Ash Ketchum was holding- He kept trying to catch random animals as Pokemon, you just can't do that, man. You can't. Uh, Spongebob takes a nap. So is he just, like, right. in a puddle of water, absorbing it? Well, he- he needed the water, he was out. Oh, he needs it. I don't need it. I need it. Uh, Sebastian Wilder finds the idol. Damn. I think it was just in his piano. Was it in the fake Oscar envelope? Was it in the wrong Oscar envelope? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. And then uh, Elwood and Patrick have a minor disagreement. I know what this is about. What's it about? Elwood obviously thinks something rhymes with rock. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, Elwood's like, I'm on a mission from God, I need this money to save the orphanage. And Patrick's like, what if you just took the orphanage and moved it somewhere else? Okay, that's just as good. <laughs> I mean, he's also not wrong. The fact that Patrick never says that in the musical is criminal. And Don Underwear leaves the American Jazz Alliance. 
they didn't need him because he all he was doing was smelling at that underwear he was smelling that i like to think that an apple fell on another lion's head Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah yeah he's like yeah apples didn't fall on you guys i said i don't need this shit so anyway uh someone from radio city is going home and i'm just gonna throw it out there i think it's cole trainer jake what the fuck it's obviously wait alfred packer's in the alliance right no yeah well he won't be he won't have the chance to be in a moment (laughs) any other guesses i think cool cool trainer jake as well (laughs) no fucking shot he's too cool shrek plays his idol first vote shrek shrek three four five alfred packer SpongeBob, SpongeBob, SpongeBob is voted out in a five-three-one vote. No, one of those votes for him better. Be... Why did Cool Trainer Jake go for Alfred Packer, not SpongeBob? I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. They hate each other. Oh man, what the fuck, Thomas? Why would you take out SpongeBob? What you I want? didn't. I didn't take out SpongeBob. Literally, the person I'm supporting, who I said would stay in the game, voted for the person I wanted out. <laughs> that was very funny. Wait, when we got the first Alfred Packer vote, I was like, I swear to God, if Thomas is right. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Sorry, I'm I'm incredibly yawny today. Like I mean, I'm. I'm I I mean, yesterday you were Jeff Probst. I was. I slept, like, nine hours, and then I woke up, and I played disc golf, and I had a really big lunch, and I came home, and I took a nap, and then I've done nothing. I I went to bed at 4 a.m. yesterday. I went to bed at, like, 10.30. (laughs) Because, like, I got home, ate half a pint of ice cream, and then went, no, I'm going to sleep now. Hell yeah. I had to drive home after eating dinner at 9.30. Oof. Yeah. Oh, well. <sighs> yeah, oh, yeah. Because you went back, to Woodland. So. Oh, yeah. You don't know who... Do you know who won the game? Yeah, I was there. It was, it was Oh, Sam. I forgot. I forgot. I, I forgot you didn't leave early. Who did you vote for again? Sam. Okay. Good. Good man. Unlike Natalie, who voted for Joe. Did Sam deserve it? <laughs> I think voting for Joe was a meme, and it almost got Joe the win. It was really yeah. funny. I felt bad for Emmeline. Been... I, I felt bad as well. I almost voted for Emily, but I was like, no, that means Joe could win, and I can't have that. Yeah. Yeah. She, I think she said she was going to vote. I, I don't remember who she said she'd vote for in the tie, because I did ask her later. <laughs> Well, it's definitely one of those things where you won't know until until it happens. Yeah. I think... She, I, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I think she said both things, so I don't remember what she said. So, Don and I were still in the alliance with Alexander Hamilton, but he left the big alliance. Yeah. So, does Alexander like the smell of his underwear now? Yeah. Or are they both equally... Sebastian smell? was the one who wasn't okay with it, probably. That yeah, probably... Radio City gets a, a grill with meat, vegetable, and spices. So that's pretty cool. Oh, no. Alfred Packer. Packer's not happy. <laughs> Alfred's like, what kind of meat is this, guys? <laughs> and they're like, don't be weird. Don't be weird. <laughs> He's like, can we put an intern on the grill? <laughs> and they win immunity. They really are trading it off. God Wait, damn no, it. Cool Trainer Jake found an idol. Hell yeah. Is it a Voltro Voltorb? It, it's one. <sighs> no, there was a Pokeball just sitting around on the island. Yeah, he thought it was a Voltorb. <laughs> he picked it up. He's like, "Ooh, an item." Is it the rock that they just painted to be the color of Pokeball? And then uh, Aaron Burr has a meltdown. He can't. <laughs> He has not shot Alexander Hamilton yet. Mm-hmm. Can you use that, mur- can you use that murder? He's like, why is Alexander at a different camp? My gun doesn't go that far. 
<laughs> I can just imagine being like, walking up, taking the shot, and being like, damn it. Why is technology so hard? Mm -hmm. And he's just pacing back and forth. Yeah. Like, brooding the entire time. Yeah, that, but he did, yeah. Um, Alexander Hamilton did get in a small fight with Scar, which checks out. Because Scar also paces back and forth a lot while brooding. And he's definitely getting Aaron Burr vibes from Scar. That's so true. 100%. Anyway, uh, is Scar going home for offending Alexander Hamilton? Or does someone else go home? Uh, Jimmy. Jimmy. I, I hate to say it, but I think Jimmy, since he was a target last time, no, he was a target last time. Let me tease No this. children I'm... allowed. They all... Yeah, yeah, they're voting out all the kids. They hate the kids. I think they're going to take a shot at Patrick. First vote, Patrick. <laughs> Patrick. Patrick. Turk. Patrick. Patrick just voted out 8 to 1. They moved him somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> they moved him. <laughs> They pushed, him off. they pushed him off the tribe. Yeah. So we have hit our uh, tribe swap. Come so... on, Aaron Burr. Take your shot. <sighs> Sorry. Yawning. No, they're on separate tribes. So our first tribe is Radio City, which is Alfred Packer, Jimmy Kudo, it's Judas. It's Alfred Packer the tribe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Alfred Packer's alone. <laughs> Against Jimmy Kudo, <laughs> Judas Iscariot, Scar, and now, Sebastian now they Wilder. Now have to decide, do they hate a child worth or do they hate a cannibal worth? Yeah. Or, or are they sick of Sebastian talking about jazz? I. Yeah, I'm not sure what's worse. Child, cannibal, or wanker. Jazz enthusiast. But it's fucking Ryan Gosling, so, like, it's fine. I mean, yeah, it's... It's one of those things where as long as you're good looking, you can be annoying. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have the Greek tribe, which is Hamilton, Dewey Cox, Don Underwear, Jake Blues, and Shrek. The room where it happens. <laughs> what? And that's because of when Aaron, when Aaron Burr uh, was mentioning the room where it happens, he was referring to the place where Hamilton would die. <laughs> so you think Hamilton's going to get voted out of there? I don't know. Really they just no. They all tried to vote out Shrek a minute ago. Shrek might be mad. Look at Shrek. him. Look, that is not a pleased individual. That is a man with a with a score to settle. Yeah, and then we have Music Circus, which is Aaron what Burr. What the fuck is this tribe? Which is Aaron Burr, Turk, Cool Trainer Jake, Elwood Blues, Richard Saigawa, and Willy Wonka. Okay, these are. They're... Listen, listen, this is the bad crowd. Cool Trainer Jake, save yourself. Oh, I mean, Elwood Blues just wants to eat dry toast and do crime, so. I mean, cool, like, cool Trainer, cool Trainer Jake could probably do a crime if he wanted to. Yeah, he's cool. He he's blow, edgy. Yeah, he he graffitis a, houses. He could blow up a bank, bank vault for that money. Mm -hmm. There's a Voltorb now. Ignore that it's a rock. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, Hamilton and Don Underwear are on the same tribe for their alliance. And that's the only alliance that's together at the merge. So we have our first challenge, and it looks like, um, fuck, Radio City is going to go to Tribal Council. So on Radio City Tribe, yep. Judas and Scar have a major fight. They cannot get their shit together. <laughs> they cannot no. get their shit together. I mean, I like, Scar, Scar's a traitor too, but, like, he's a fascist, and, and Judas is not about that. Nah. Judas just kills cops. Judas was a cop. Hi, Kiki. Oh. Sorry, I had to pet my dog. It was very important. She was amazing. Kiki's always amazing. That was your first time meeting her, wasn't it? Yes. Was it everything you dreamed of? It was more than that. Yeah, she's it, was, so it was magical. She's so good. She is the best dog parent. Mm -hmm. um, Hamilton and Jake Blues have a minor disagreement. Interesting. Why is everyone fighting? Oh, that's because Hamilton and Jake Blues don't like each other. It's programmed that way. Oh, okay. Hamilton likes Elwood and Aaron Burr likes Jake. 
Elwood and Jake like each other, but they don't like the opposite. Mm, okay. What? So this is a love triangle. Um, no, because I had to make what Elwood and Jake triangle? like each other, but I had to like do something to like create some tension between them. So one of them likes Hamilton and hates Burr, and the other likes Burr and hates Hamilton. Because it was the best way That's to do good. it. Oh, so they, they they watched Hamilton and they're like, oh, we have different favorite characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, it's the Stan Wars. Jeez. <laughs> uh, and then Shrek collapses what? from exhaustion and is medically evacuated from the game. No, no, not Shrek. He was so he was this close away from Shrek Five. He was he was he was hiding the pain. He couldn't handle it. Yeah. No. Aaron Burr what gets in a fight. He showed up to the island, showed them Shrek 1, showed them Shrek 2, impressed them both times, played an idol, and then just gave up. Yeah. Well, I mean, the alternative was showing them Shrek 3. Oh, he sure. Actually, they're like, we yeah. like Shrek 1 and Shrek 2. Can he show us Shrek 3? And Shrek, and Shrek just collapses. <laughs> or maybe he showed them Shrek 3 and they just beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Well, uh, no, Shrek speedran the Survivor experience, if you think about it. He played an idol, he impressed the team, like... Or... He, cuck, he, 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 got, he got Spongebob out of the game, like... He did it he, all. If you want to be simpler about it, just he saw... He saw them gun in form, and he's like, I'm gonna, I ain't gonna let you bitches take me, I'm gonna take myself out. Okay. Um, Aaron Burr and Cool Trainer Jake have a small fight. My theory here is that um, Aaron Burr is discussing, of course, how to assassinate uh, famous political figures, as as one does in the early 1800s, apparently. And Cool yeah. Trainer Jake's like, have you tried electrodes? Have you tried electrodes? <laughs> have you tried throwing this shit? And they're rocket? fighting over what is better, a gun or a bomb. <laughs> I mean... Back in the day, I'd probably choose the bomb. It is so good that Vulcan isn't here for this. <laughs> to be clear, we are not endorsing or condoning political violence. We are making commentary on Aaron Burr, who endorsed or condoned political violence in 1804 when it was normal. Yeah, you know, it was it was just a sad it's just a Saturday morning thing you did. It was you a different time. You, you 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 got up and planned a revolution. No, oh, back then everything was legal in New Jersey. Yeah, that's that's. Am I gonna have to mute Natalie again? Uh, and then Aaron Burr has a meltdown he because lost. he lost, he the, lost argument. the argument. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's straight up taking a shot every single time he's seen Hamilton. It hasn't hit once. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it's gotten tiring. Even Jeff Probst's like, what the fuck, man? Oh, God. Cool Trainer Jake found another idol. He has two now. Oh, oh Thomas God. has he's... too much power. He, This is too much. He's too cool. I, this is not it's good. Season. Yeah. Uh, Music I, I... Circus is going to Tribal Council. Man. All right, so... Cool Trainer Jake can do the funniest thing ever. He can. He can get voted out with two idols. Yes, he can. So, um, he can Malcolm X it. You know, yeah. or, he could just, he or he could just vote on Aaron Burr, okay? I, I'm i not ready for that yet. I mean, I picked it, I picked Aaron, but that'd be funny as hell if he got eaten by, eaten before he got He got, got cool traded, Jake. Yeah, he got he got cool Jake. Cool trainer Jake may have failed against Giovanni, but he's not gonna fail against Aaron. Burr. So, sorry. Uh, Sebastian Wilder is impressing the rest of the team. Presumably, they like jazz. I mean, he's he mansplaining is... the plot of Moonlight. Or Moonlight? Why would he? Wait. You mean La La Land? No, no, no. What was no? Wait. The fuck is Moonlight? Moonlight is uh, not a movie with Ryan Gosling in it. It it it's like three different time no, periods no, no, no. following like, a young gay man. I was, 
I was gonna say like, what was the like movie that was supposed that what was the movie that um was supposed to win but La La Land won? Oh, that might have been Moonlight. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was Moonlight. I was, I was like, it would be it would be uh mildly clever if he was mansplaining the plot to that other movie. Oh, that's the one I was in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got the Oscar. In Moonlight. Yeah, I got the Oscar. <laughs> I did not do blackface for that Oscar. No. Okay. Yeah, so Cool Trainer Jake has two idols who's going home from Music Circus. I think I think Turk goes home. Either Turk or Aaron Burr. Or Elwood Blues. Yeah. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there's no active alliance. I think though. Aaron Burr's going home, if I'm being honest. Okay, let's see. I'm guessing Turk. First vote, Willy Wonka. Elwood Blues. Elwood Blues. Elwood Blues. Elwood is voted out 5-1. to one. Interesting. That's... Jake is, Wait, is not he the happy. One who's, is he the one who stands Hamilton? Is yeah. Is that why he was voted out? Yeah. Oh, okay. Aaron Burr had to take out the guy who hated him. Yeah. I mean, He's like, you're, you're, you're Hamilton's friend. I gotta get rid of you. True. I'm just yeah. bummed that the Blues Brothers aren't going to be reunited in concert yet again for a musical review. Yeah, that's uh, well, they can always replace Elwood with Don Underwear. It wasn't very cool of Cool Kind of Jake not to save Elwood. But I Elwood's the it. like Jake. Jake is the one who's not in Blues Brothers 2000, and they replace him with John Goodman. Also, oh, don't watch Blues Brothers 2000. It's a terrible fucking movie. Okay. Moving on, hitting buttons. It's so exciting. So we have a reward challenge. Uh, the Greek gets a visit from a chef, while Radio City gets kebabs. Yeah, give Alfred Hacker more non-human meat. They yeah. get to say the rehabilitation. He, I assume he only eats the vegetables. Yeah, he's, he's vegan outside of. Pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a vegan. I only eat, uh, I only eat plants and things that destroy the planet. He is the ultimate environmentalist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ultimate environmentalist. He, he, he's hungry for the Waltons. He's what green piss, green pe. Yeah. Greenpeace wishes they, wishes they could be. Yeah. Too radical for Greenpeace. <laughs> Too radical. Alfred Packer. Like, why metaphorically eat the rich when you could just eat them? Anyway, uh, Radio City is going back to Tribal Council. As Alfred Packer gets in a minor disagreement with Scar. Now, here's it's my 100%, thing. 100%. Wait, go on. Go on. Well, no, what are you going to say? I was going to say it's 100% on how humans taste. No, I don't think Scar knows. Because here's the thing. In Zoo Tycoon, lions can't eat humans. Like, a lion can't kill one of your, like, zoo attendees. So Scar doesn't eat that people. Bullshit. And Alfred Packer is upset about it. Well, so they so they let the fucking roller coasters do it, but not the lions? Yeah, but if you get the dinosaur <laughs> expansion, the T-Rexes will do it. Sick. So unbelievable. I'm just saying. That game was wrong. It's very wrong. Uh Turk <laughs> bonds with Richard Sayagawa. I, mean, I good for him. I think he's falling for the scheme. I think he's about to wire Richard Sayagawa ten thousand dollars so he can fly so he can fly to England to ask uh his his aunt, Queen Elizabeth, for money. I so, mean, he doesn't know. He doesn't know it won't work. I mean, no, he doesn't. I, it, I you know, maybe it. this this is gonna work. This is gonna work. And then Richard <laughs> Sagawa has a meltdown. Oh, wait, do you think uh, Richard Sagawa went to the hospital pretending he was injured? <laughs> and they returned him to the island. He's like, I got the money, guys. And they're like, nope, <laughs> still here. They wouldn't let him. Yeah. <laughs> he tried to quit, and they said no. It's like, dude, we saw you fall on that fake stick. You are not hurt. 
<laughs> you're gonna get voted out, and you're gonna like it. Like that's not blood. That's pitch up, my man. <laughs> Alfred Packer's like, ooh, seasoning. <laughs> Natalie, what were you gonna say? No, I I was gonna say that the production said that if you get injured on purpose, they're not gonna pay you out yeah. for your injury. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Radio City's going tribal council. Alfred Packer's going home, right? Oh, 100%. He's yeah. fucked. Yeah. Judas, Judas, Sebastian Wilde, Judas goes home 4 what to 1. What the hell? Judas got Judas. <laughs> How could they do this? Yeah, what the fuck? This is bullshit. Anyway, uh, we have now hit the merch at our new Broadway tribe, where we have Aaron Burr, Alexander Hamilton, Alfred Packer, Christopher Turk, Cool Trainer Jake, Dewey Cox, Don Underwear, Jake Blues, Jimmy Kudo, Richard Saigawa, Scar, Sebastian Wilder, and Willy Wonka. And so, none of us have lost a player yet. First. Huh? Man, I know, this, this, is, this is kind of odd. Yeah. This feels wrong. Yeah. I still have Don Underwear, Natalie still has Hamilton, uh, Chris still has Aaron Burr, and Thomas still has Cool Trainer Jake, and Cool Trainer Jake still has two idols. So I just imagine the camp is just a light with a uh, Aaron Burr still trying to shoot <laughs> Alexander Hamilton and missing every single time. Yeah, just throughout the day, that's all that's happening is Aaron Burr is like fashioning bullets out of coconuts. It's like Burr, come the fuck on. Wait, wait, does Aaron Burr have DK's coconut gun? Yes, he does. Can it fire in spurts? He needs to win it in a reward here's the challenge. here's the problem with the coconut gun if he shoots you it's only gonna hurt oh true <laughs> oh no. no aaron burr may be bigger badder and stronger too <laughs> dk should have been in this episode i just imagine aaron burr just like following him around just like stop is well, the problem is, is Donkey Kong a musical hero? Yeah, the problem is Alexander's quick and nimble and quick and nimble and quick and nimble and quick and nimble. Uh... Okay. So, um, there's not a hidden idol. Cool Trainer Jake has two idols, Sebastian Wilder has one idol, and Alexander Hamilton has the legacy advantage. Is the idol for, for Wilder just... just... Oh, so you established the envelope. Yeah, but I didn't update it to say that because I'm lazy. Yeah, it's fine. Just remember because Shrek said Shrek wins best animated film, but we never used it. Um. So we've got three alliances, and they're all pairs. So we have Aaron Burr and Jake Blues, Hamilton and Don Underwear, and then Hamilton and Sebastian Wilder. None of these guys like each other. <laughs> Everyone just fucking hates each other. Uh, Hamilton and Don Underwear have an eight. Yeah. I mean, everyone who's not in, like, these incredibly limited alliances. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. That's like, true. For some reason, Alexander Hamilton really likes the smell of Don Underwear. <laughs> he does. It's his, it's his thing. He's gonna put him on his cabinet. <laughs> yeah. Department of Sanitation. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, Sebastian Wilder wins immunity, so that's that's pretty cool. Fucking how he has a piano attached to him. You know that's just what he does. Did he? Uh, the, the challenge was called "Fools in the Rain," so yeah. all he had to do was be a fool. Mm -hmm. That's easy. Was he, was he doing music from "Singing in the Rain"? I don't, I don't know. Probably. No, he was jazzing. Not to be confused with jazz. He was. He was creating one of those, like, jazz and rain, like, YouTube videos for people to listen to. Yeah, yeah. I lost the way, like, jazz and rain. Lo-fi lo jazz to study to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dewey, Dewey Cox and Jake Blues have a small fight. Here's the thing. I think... It's a bad addition. Well, the problem so... is, is they're fighting over who gets to do the drugs. Oh. Because they both want to do the drugs. And Jake Blues is like, Dewey, you don't want none of this. And Dewey's like, I think I do. I think I've earned my right to drugs. Yeah. 
I'm a famous musician. It's what we do. Uh, Hamilton gets in a disagreement with Don Underwear. Is this is this is this the breakup? Is this is a Donny the Donny breakup? Don, why'd you clean your underwear? Why well, you wash? to be fair, I'm sure everyone back then smelled as bad as Don underwear. <laughs> yeah. Fair. <laughs> oh, the rain was like a shower for Don if he doesn't smell yeah. as good. Yeah. Well, no, he doesn't. You know, it, 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 yeah, the smell's gone a little bit. It's like, you know, I watched I watched Kiki today, and the thing is, it's, it's hard to wash my dog because she hates water, so she's only a little clean. Then uh, Hamilton and Scar have a major fight. Why is why is Hamilton focusing his ire on Scar when like the person trying Burr's to right him. here? <laughs> I mean, Burr hasn't Burr, done it yet, so I think, he's saving it for until the end of the musical. I think I think he just that's he, the he, climax. Scar like Burr isn't even a real threat. Scar's the real threat. Mm-hmm. Well, Burr is trying to aim at him from far away, mm-hmm. so they're they're not able to get I mean, into a verbal altercation yet. Well, Hamilton is mad that Scar has a better uh, look than he does. Hamilton wants to find his glasses before he fights Burr. Well, the thing is, also Scar Scar can uh, just maul him from a close distance. Anyway, uh, Willy Wonka joins the Jake's Hat Alliance with Aaron Burr and Jake Blues. I mean, he has a sick hat, too. He does. This is it's two people with sick hats and one guy who wants both those sick hats. In the fact, loyalty's about to plummet, boys. Put, put really my sick hat on back on for the duration of the episode. Hell Just yeah. to make Aaron Burr feel left out. <laughs> make him mauled. Hell I don't yeah. know if I have a sick hat. Uh, Don Underwear takes a nap. He's going to roll in the mud, get the smell back. Okay, who's going home? I think... I think it's Jimmy Kudo. He's Kirk. still done nothing. I think they're going to get Kirk out of here, unfortunately. I mean, that, that would make... I mean, there's so many options because there's not many big alliances. Uh, but I can see either Jimmy, because he hasn't done anything... Or even Scar, he just had that major fight. There's a lot of non-aligned characters that just, could just go on a win. Yeah, that's the problem. There's just so little going on. In it's... a musical? No. There's too many B-plots. <laughs> too, too many, too many B-plots. B-plots. The, they, the plot, you know when the plot stops so they can sing? Yeah. That's been the whole episode. Yeah, there hasn't been any singing since the very beginning. Yeah. We should change this. No. They're all main they're all main characters and how dare you say I'm gonna, I'm gonna move forward. No idols played. No idols played. First vote, Dewey Cox. Dewey right. Cox. Dewey Cox. Chris Turk. Chris Turk. Chris Turk. Dewey Cox. Chris Turk. So that's four four with five left. Five five. Dewey Cox is voted out eight to five. That's oh, what he gets for stealing right. Jake Blues' drugs. They were, hit, they were his first, goddammit. Yeah, they were his first. Uh, Alexander Hamilton finds the reward stealer. Holy shit. It does not matter at all. Yep. Because it's like it can steal an idol. Nope, nope. It steals a reward. Which means fuck it all. It's like you could steal someone's sandwich. That means a lot. You know, we can steal does. someone's loved one visit. He could. Alexander could uh, visit visit uh, Miss Reynolds, <laughs> so that Aaron Burr cannot visit Miss Theodosia. Yeah. Well, you know what? A- Aaron Burr's the one who wanted to marry the the wife of a British officer. He's he's a fucking traitor. Aaron Burr wins immunity. I, sorry, Alexander Hamilton wins immunity. Um, wow. He did it. Aaron Burr has a major meltdown. <laughs> He's really He's upset. Loser. He's so upset. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean he gets to be a delegate? Firing 
and it didn't matter at all. Like, I've shot him a thousand times with coconut. Yeah, with coconut, bitch. <laughs> it only hurts. It is not lethal at Al all. Alfred Packer and Richard Saigawa have a minor disagreement. Um. Yeah, I think I think their interpretation of eating people is different. Yeah. Yeah, that's very different. Di very different. And then uh, Hamilton and Scar have a small fight. They Hamilton's just keep fighting. Like, I'm immune. You can't maul me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm immune. You can't maul me. And Scar just like slashes him up. And he's like. Yes, I can. And what? Hamilton just, like, pretends like he's not hurt. No, but he has, like, that, that Wolverine healing factor now with, that, with the immunity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's maybe. Like, nope. Is this the... No, he just yeah. gives nope. the audience a shocked expression. Yeah. It's like, I can't believe that happened. Yeah, wow, what a what a weirdo. Just, just trying to hurt me. Who would do that? Mm-hmm. Okay, um... I, I still don't know what the fuck's happening. I'm going to say uh, Jimmy Kudo goes home. Because he has yeah. yet to do uh, anything. I think, I think it's Alfred Packer. I mean, it could be, but it was also random last time. Because there's no new alliances. Nothing's really changed. There's a bunch of unlike characters. I It could be Jimmy. It could be Alfred. It could be... I mean, it could also be very funny... And one of the people that has a that has a uh, a uh, oh my god, an idol could not play it. You want it to be Cool Trainer Jake, don't you? I'm not having Cool Trainer Jake. Like Chris Turk is here. He hasn't done shit. <laughs> yeah, he 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 played an idol for himself. That's right. At least he did that. Let's see. Cool Trainer Jake plays his oh, idol on shit. Chris Turk. Oh no. So I'm gonna get idled out? Yeah. Finally happening. Turk gets one, two, three, four, five, six votes. Aaron Burr. Oh, oh my god. Scar. Okay. Scar. Scar. Aaron Burr. Scar is voted out in a six four two split. Cool trainer, Jake just said fuck Pyroar. <laughs> <laughs> my head taken yeah, off by I'm, Hamilton I'm Turk Don one. Underwear and Jimmy Kudo Wait, Cool Trainer he, Jake voted out Aaron Burr he took the shot yeah yeah what, what a play the hell? I mean that that was that was pretty based it was, it was a, a play successful idol play yeah, we've had very... two. Shrek's idol play was successful as well. <laughs> I'm just wondering where is what? When are we going to start getting alliances, or is everyone have main character syndrome? I don't know. They're they're the stars of all of their own musicals. Yeah, they don't want to be part of an ensemble group. The most the most that they can share the spotlight with is one or two other people. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have so far. So. It's making sense. Yeah. Turk wins immunity. I know. He needed it. He really did. He's like, oh shit, I need to actually do stuff now. Uh, so Turk bonds with Hamilton. I mean, those those coconuts he's getting shot do hurt a little bit. So like, <laughs> he needs to go I to mean, the doctor. That's Turk like is a surgeon, though, Hamilton. so he's just like, what if, what if we just remove the coconuts i i bet hamilton's like i saw you guys take a shot for a burger good job yeah Turk's like you could have voted him out too and hamilton's like that lion's been trying to eat me for weeks <laughs> yeah yeah so what did turk promise cool trainer jake oh 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 um he he, he he's he gonna was... be on the final season of scrubs he no no he he's been he employed the he employed cool trainer Jake's electrode to power a defibrillator. Oh, true. So after yeah. helping helping electrode get a job, Jake kind of owed him. Like oh shit, this, this 
I have money now. For... Mm -hmm. um, Willy Wonka has left Jake's Hat Alliance. And then uh, Jake Blues takes a nap, which checks out. He probably just ate four whole chickens. I mean, yeah. I like how now we're down to just three two people alliances again. Yeah. I want something. So, does Willy Wonka go home? I, maybe? I don't, I don't know. I think, or Jimmy. I, why is Jimmy still here? Like, for real? I think they're going to take, a, take a shot again. at Richard, actually. Okay, let's see. Alfred Packer. Oh. Hamilton. Yeah. Packer. Yeah. Packer. Hamilton. Hamilton. So, 3-3 three, three with five votes left. Oh, gosh. Five Packer, four Hamilton, two left, as Alfred Packer is voted out seven to four. Which checks out he has been trying to cook and eat the players for a while. They got sick yeah. of it. Mm. Kiki, stop digging. There's nothing there for I, you. I, I, I like how they're slowly eliminating all threats to human life. Mm hmm Yeah. Who's the next it's biggest true. threat to human life? Is it is it Don Underwear? Don't know where his biological head. No, right now. The, if we're doing next biggest threat, it's obviously Willy Wonka. Yeah, it's. <laughs> yeah, I... I mean, he I does. He does make people obese. It, it's so. it's Willy Wonka because he has clearly killed several men. Then Aaron Burr, who has killed one man, and then Don Underwear, who is a sanitation violation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. And Richard Sayagawa oh. would be next. Also, Willy Wonka is, I mean, oh, brain, you were faster, fuck. I mean, the thing is, Jimmy Kudo is also a death magnet, so wherever he goes, people are always dying. Yeah. So you could put him on also, that list, too. Willy Wonka is totally cool with slavery, and that's not good. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, but so is, like, Aaron Burr. Yeah, but that's still only two of them. Okay, next up, let's see. Yeah, this alliance loadout is awful. Yeah, so it's, it's so you keep being random people because no one wants to, no one wants to join an alliance. <sighs> he needed that win. Yeah, Hamilton wins immunity. Oh, Sorry, I keep yawning. I'm so not awake. But just we're gonna get through this, huh? It's all uh, just drink coffee. It's only eight o'clock. I had I've had like three iced teas in the past hour and a oh. half. Well, well, I had one now and I had two before we started the episode. I see. I'm just very tired because when I play disc golf in the morning, I'm very tired the rest of the day. Yeah, because it's disc golf. Holy and, shit. And also because I ran Survivor yesterday and it's fucking exhausting. Yeah. And had no caffeine yesterday either, so. I don't know how the fuck you did off no caffeine. Yeah, I was driving in going, why the fuck did I forget Diet Coke? What's wrong with me? Oh, you're a Coke person? Next time I'll, like, bring a 60-pack or whatever. I'm just, I'm a Diet Cola person. Okay. I do not drink I... standard cola. I didn't drink it as a kid, so I don't like it as an adult. Okay, I'm the same, I'm the same way. I can, I can tolerate it. I just bought regular Pepsi because I like I, I don't want to get the wrong diet <sighs> Sorry, yeah. getting diet sodas is always a big risk because a lot of people really don't like diet sodas that's why I went with the regular Pepsi like, yeah all right it's okay I mean I got a fuck ton of sparkling waters because I drink those um let's see Richard Sayagawa and Willy Wonka bond slightly. I think Willy Wonka just sees some promise in Richard as a fellow con man. Yeah. I'm, is, is Willy a con man, though? Kind of. Like, he he does make a legitimate product. He's a rascal. And there's also the whole slavery thing, which the British family totally was okay with. So. Yeah. I mean, they did try to rehabilitate him in that... <sighs> Really bad Timothy Chalamet movie. I could not finish it. It was not fun. I I I had no desire to see it. I was like, why are you trying to backstory? And and also they had to like work around. Oh hey, the 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 Oompa Loompas are just slaves. Wait, no, they're not really slaves. 
You know, that's better than J.K. Rowling. Anyway, um, Aaron Burr and Chris Turk have a small fight. I think he's trying to stop Aaron Burr from shooting. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Turk is like, up. I've removed three bullets that you've lodged in this man. I need you to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Burr's like, I will stop when he is dead. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton shows up to the Scrubs Hospital. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, like, you're not a real doctor, and these aren't real bullets, so... Donald Fasian's just like, fine, I'll do it this one time. <laughs> and American Jazz dissolves. But a new alliance has formed. Oscar Wilder is done with this shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but a new alliance has formed between Aaron Burr, Jake Blues, Richard Sayagawa, and Willy this Wonka. Is, this is so fucked up. <laughs> yeah, this, this is... This is villains! Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is... A... Yeah, this, this is, is this is a straight villain alliance. Yeah, this is, this <laughs> this is, is a yeah. whoa. This is a hater <laughs> alliance. Who do it the haters take out next? Is it is Alexander Hamilton going home? Wait, Does I think he, he has immunity. immunity. Yeah, he has immunity. So. Yeah. I think uh, they're gonna take out Don Underwear because they're mad. I think they're gonna take out Turk. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. yeah <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Run, Turk! Also, he... I mean... He's also the only black guy up there, so... That's not coded into the game, fortunately. Racism isn't coded into no, the no, game. No, no, the game doesn't ask you the race of the players. Because we both know Burr would be like... No. Yeah. Uh, first vote, Sebastian Wilder. Turk. Why? Wilder, okay. Turk, Wilder, Turk, Turk, Turk is voted out. Oh no, Seven to Turk. Three. That's not good. They just voted out their fake doctor. Yeah, they voted out their fake doctor. Jimmy Kudo yeah. didn't, but so, fucking Hamilton did. I bet Jimmy was working with Turk. He's like, he's like, Doc, you can make me 16 again. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's done nothing all game. I'm so of a lot of people though, so it's not that's not saying very much. We so have had sure. a plot point with every character here except Jimmy. Yeah, he's literally been involved in nothing. Yeah. Since like the it's merge. It's like the musical. It's like Conan in the Land of Pokemon. I know. <laughs> Is he just too short and they don't see him? <laughs> yeah, he's too small. They don't realize he's a player. They just think he's a Make-A-Wish kid. Oh my god, has he... Has he... Is he cosplayed as a Make-A-Wish kid? Has he shaved his head? Yeah. On a beanie to be like, I'm just here for the... Is he using his voice-changing bow tie for, to get, like, a feeble voice? Yes. No, he's using his acting skills that his mom taught him mm -hmm. to, to really, really pull this off. Okay. Jake Blues wins immunity. That's bad. I, is it though? Is it? Yes. Okay. He's in the villain alliance. So I know that's. Well, he was gonna be safe either way. Yeah. This stuff is actually happening. Uh, Don Underwear and Sebastian Wilder have a small fight. I mean, oh, he's no. probably tired of the stench. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think he's upset that. Uh, no, no, Sebastian tried to approach Don Underwear about joining his musical troupe, but um, he only. He's like, the the admission is you can only do jazz. And Don Under was like, no. We're an opera. I mean, fair, yeah. And Sebastian Wilder just fucking quit. Ooh. New Alliance forms. Jimmy Kudo, Richard Sagawa, and Willie Walker. <laughs> this is the most garbage final three of all time. <laughs> I mean, here's the I, thing. This is this is Jimmy hanging out with the wrong crowd. No, no, no. He he heard that there was a Richard no. here, and he, he thought is, it was Richard Moore. Yeah, he's working with the police to 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 bust the scam artists and the slavers. Yeah, maybe. This is him under deep cover as a make a witch kid. This is this is like one of the episodes where he spends time with the culprits just to, to learn more about them. Okay. 
So uh, we have nine players left. What Who's gonna get of culprits? Hang out with a kid. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Jimmy Jimmy is now a de facto fifth for the bad guy alliance. That's so far. No. This is so far. Also, uh, Richard Saigawa has changed his name for the bit. <laughs> I, I want to say it's Hamilton going. I think, um, yeah, I think, sorry, I think it's Hamilton's time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want it to be. His supreme hater is in an alliance. His his hater has the power. Yeah. First vote, Hamilton. Sebastian. Hamilton, Hamilton, Sebastian, Sebastian. Three to three with three votes left. Hamilton is voted out six to three. Oh, man. It it was bound to happen once that alliance formed. And Hamilton has given his legacy advantage to my boy, Don Underwear. Okay, Natalie. Is it, is it his underwear? Yeah. <laughs> Natalie, you have to pick a new friend. Oh no. Well, okay, I can't pick Jimmy because he's hanging out with the wrong crowd. Yeah. So I think uh, I'll pick the you know the the next vote the the next highest vote getter in that last round, so Sebastian Wilder. <laughs> yeah. I want to see him explain more jazz. I you know I love. I love when Ryan Gosling explains jazz. If there was a cut of La La Land that was just Ryan Gosling explaining jazz, I would watch it every day. I mean, that does sound pretty sick. It's the best part of La La Land. It's the only good part of La La Land. I've never seen it, so I'm just going to take your word for it. I'll never see it. Yeah. It's a good call. Who would have... Oh, man. What? I'm just, the, it, this the state of the game is grim right now. It's really like, because Old Trader Jake still has two idols. I mean, the, no, he is one. No, he is he one. Played he one played one on Turk That's earlier. Right. The the um, the situation is yeah. Sebastian and Jake both have idols, so they could theoretically flip the game. It just depends on who they take out, because otherwise, late game it just becomes will Willy Wonka and Richard use Jimmy Kudo to take out Aaron Burr and Jake. Yeah, because it's really okay. You have you've saved yourself, but that's a one-off, mm-hmm. and you have no alliance. Yeah, uh, Sebastian wins immunity. Hmm. My boy. So now Sebastian could use his idol to say. Ooh. That that would require these three knowing how to coordinate, and they don't. Oh yeah, no. Fair. Okay, Don Underwear gets in a fight with Richard Moore. That is not good. No, it's not. Um, to be fair, I think just, like, Richard's clothes are pristine white, and Don Underwear is not about that. Yeah, true. Did, did Don Underwear try and throw shit at Richard Moore? <laughs> Maybe. Whoa. <laughs> and then, Cool Trainer Jake does bond with Richard Moore. He's, uh, bo- he's considering, I think he's considering giving him the $10,000 so he can fly to, uh, Lavender Town and discuss things with Queen Elizabeth. And they also both have sick drip. I mean, they do have sick drip. They are going crazy. And the bad crowd dissolves. Jimmy is no longer isolated. Yeah, Jimmy is free from negative influences. But he's also vulnerable now. He learned everything he needed to know from them. Yeah. Listen, I think Jimmy's cover has been blown. Yeah, I think Jimmy goes home. (laughs) That's more likely. He's been bad. (laughs) See you, Jimmy. They're like, wait, you're playing the game? We got to get this kid out of here. We was like, yeah. we, how did you escape us voting on all the other kids earlier? Yeah. yeah. You mean the, the one other child? Yeah. The, hey, there's SpongeBob and Patrick. It's true. SpongeBob right. has a job. He's not. He's an adult. Yeah. True. First vote. Oh wait, Cool Trainer Jake plays his idol. Oh has man, he, has he saved himself? Yes, Cool Trainer Jake received Holy one, shit. two, three, He's so good. four, five. Jimmy Kudo. No, don't take out Jimmy. <laughs> no, he took out Jimmy. He took no, out Jimmy. Jake, what have you done? Jake, why? <laughs> it was either him or Jimmy, oh, sorry, and Jimmy's sorry, only dude. ten. Yeah, Jake just wasted his fucking idol. Jake, why? 
hey, don't want have to the one have to take have to take the bullet. Do you think? <laughs> wait, wait. Do you think he wrote Giovanni to vote out Giovanni, but they interpreted that as Jimmy? Maybe. <laughs> How do you get Jimmy out, Giovanni out of Jimmy? He's dumb. I don't know. Richard wins immunity. No, in Survivor, oh. people will like write people's names with the wrong spelling all the time. Yeah. So maybe he wrote down, like, you know, he wrote down. Uh, I, okay, I can't. I can't come up with I, it. Yeah, I'm saying I don't know. What you're <laughs> I, like, I, I like it, um, no. <laughs> in one of the tribal councils where, like, someone writes down CC and J like Jeff Probst just like looks at this and he's like. Who cast this vote? And um, one of the players is like, that was me. I'm voting out Crystal Cox. And he, he did that just because he wanted to declare it in front of her. Wow. That, you know what? That's sick. <laughs> yeah. It was uh, Randy from Gabon. He's one of the bi the most petty bitches of Survivor. And I love him so much. I mean, if, if you're going to flex on someone, you may as well met, let them Oh, he went home that them. vote. Oh, but still, that's such a power move. What what I love is, um, because, like, he adopts a lot of dogs. Because he doesn't have a wife or kids. He just has a lot of dogs. And he's been naming his dogs after his castmates from his season of Survivor as he's, like, gotten them. That's oh, my God. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. It's hilarious. It, it's very funny because Randy was both like the most, cr one of the most curmudgeonly assholes that survivors ever had, but also like a pretty cool dude. So like, um, normally when they have the live reunion show, you can, you get tickets to bring some friends with you and Did he bring all his dogs. No, no, no. Well, he wanted his loved one visit to be his dog, but survivor refused. Um, that's some bitch shit on there. Right. Part. Um, wow. but what he did, because his friend, like, as, as he put it, he's like, no, my friends were willing to come, but like, my friends don't like Survivor, so they would have come for me, but like, going to a live reunion show doesn't mean a lot to them. So instead, what he did was he gave his tickets away to fans in the audience who couldn't get in. Oh, and then, awesome, and then production dragged him for it. Why? Why? I don't know. Of all the, like... Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's yeah. like there's some, like, really cool parts of Randy. Like, he's a wedding photographer, or videographer, who hates weddings. But... Ugh, I love him so much. Too bad he's I wanna... kind of awful. Yeah, but, like, the cool kind of awful. Yeah. Just stay away from his, like... I, I think his politics are pretty shit. Anyway, uh, Willy Wonka's tired, but not quitting. Like Trump shit or, or RFK shit? Um, I, don't even know. I don't know what his actual politics are, but he was uh, a little, like, he was arguably pretty, like, chauvinistic, misogynist, and maybe a little bit racist during his season, so. Uh, okay. Oh, so just bad take city. Yeah. He's he's okay. an angry 50-year-old white man. What do you expect? <laughs> Oh, then, okay, then, yeah, never mind, that's, yeah, that's checked out. Oh, man. So, um, oh, yeah. um Jake? Richard Jake? has immunity. Know. Sebastian has an idol. Under, uh... I think, I think Jake goes home. No way. Uh... They just voted He's... Jake out. Why wouldn't they do it again? Yeah, he... My he has... little heart would break. Good. I mean, the game doesn't care, and you, you, you... Jake has nothing. He has no alliances. He has nothing. He's alone. You have nothing. Good day, sir. Yeah, I gotta say, probably Jake. Sebastian plays his idol. Alright. First vote. Sorry, I, I love the motorcycles. Sebastian does not count. 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 Oh, Who I does Sebastian vote out? Jake. Just don't idle out Jake. He idled out Jake. You fuck! Why? What the fuck? That's a terrible move. That's a brilliant... That's the funniest move you possibly do. Thomas. It's like... Okay. It's like, I, I'll, uh... Okay. It's like, I, could, I could shoot anyone in the lines, but no fuck this unaligned guy. Yeah. 
What the fuck? Twice what? in a row. Jake You're finds the cool. idol. I... It goes this from Cool Trader Jake episode. to Jake Blues. This is the worst. Wait, Thomas that needs to bad. make a new pick. He did. He's he's Richard Sayagawa, <laughs> man. Oh, okay. He's he's Richard Moore. Jake Blues wins immunity. He wins a steak dinner. He takes Arid Burr and Richard Sayagawa with him. I hate this episode so is much. It, is it a steak and cocaine dinner? <laughs> yeah, it's steak and cocaine. Anyway, um, so Jake has immunity. Don Underwear has the legacy advantage and is going to use it. So does Sebastian go home? Oh, he's totally done. I think he's cooked. No, Willy Wonka's gone. I mean, maybe, but... No, but... Uh... Let's see. Don Underwear plays his legacy advantage. Don Underwear gets one, two, three, four votes. And then Sebastian's voted out in a four to two. He literally played his aisle just to shoot Jake. So the whole story of our whole, of the last two hours of our life is just Alliance good. That's what we can learn. <laughs> it's always been good, though. <laughs> like... Okay. Uh, so... These are all theater kids. That's why this season sucks. Natalie, you have to switch again. I have to switch again. You have Jake Blues and Willy Wonka as your options. I don't like either of them. I'm sorry. I, I, mean, I, I, I know less about Jake Blues, so I will pick him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's... That I mean, that's just a bummer for me, because he was going to be who I would pick when Don Underwear gets voted out this round. <laughs> Now you're gonna be on Willy Wonka. Hey, Don Underwear could win a, win immunity. You don't know you don't know his scent powers. It's true. Richard Sagawa wins immunity. My man. Well, never mind. Uh, Aaron Burr and Jake Blues get in a fight. Aaron I mean, Burr has decided he doesn't like the hat anymore. I He's think. Lost oh, it's oh, uncool. okay. We're anti hat again. Okay, I got it. He's lost purpose ever since. Um, I think. Uh, I think Jake found out Aaron's the one who took out Elwood. Oh holy shit! Oh, yeah. Actually, this oh. is a minor disagreement. That would be a major fight. Yeah. Okay. I think. Who did? Who did uh, Jake take with him to the steak and cocaine dinner? Uh, Richard Sayagawa and Aaron Burr. Okay, so you can't. Be and mad they about shared that. steak and cocaine with each other. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're so Don Underwear is probably going home four to one, but there's an outside chance Willy Wonka goes home three to two, which would be funny as hell. It would. Jake plays right. his idol on himself. Don Underwear, Willy Wonka. Don Underwear goes home four to one. Oh my god! How how is Aaron? Uh, how is this the final four? It happens. I don't know, man. All I know is that. They need not... to get Aaron Burr out I now. need to channel you harder, Thomas, because apparently Burr is just flexing too hard. I told you, you can't game the system. Jake Blues but wins immunity. To... No, okay. Chris, if you, su if you support people you want out, they win. Yeah. So, damn it. So, Aaron Burr and Willy Wonka have a small fight. So you are channeling it, technically. Jake Blues has a major meltdown. He is out of cocaine again. Yep, he just came down too hard. And then, um, yeah, Jake Blues has found out Aaron Burr assassinated Elwood Blues. So Jake has immunity, right? Yes. All right, so Aaron's definitely not being picked. Is um, Aaron or Willy Wonka? I think Richard Saigal was fine. Yeah. He's just reveling in the chaos. Yeah, yeah. Rich, Richard has promised to pay for the orphanage with, with the... Yeah. The scam money. Willy Wonka, Richard, Willy Wonka, Richard. It's a tie. So they will make fire. Oh no, don't make fire against no. Willy Wonka. Don't do that shit. No, no, Here's a thing. no, 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 no. Oh wait, sorry, it's a revote. They just voted out Richard Saigawa. I hate myself so much. Yeah, Jake Blues flipped. Does that mean I'm Team Wonka? It's no, I am, it's over. Um you, oh, you have done. nobody, Thomas. I'm out. Fuck this game. Fuck so, this season. Uh, between Aaron Burr, Jake Blues, and Willy Wonka, who do we think wins? Man. 
Willy Jake Wonka loses. didn't do shit besides joining the Jake Blues is Jake Blues is gonna take this home. I want it to be Jake Blues, but I mean Jake Blues rhymes with Jake Blues, so I'm going Aaron. No, if if Aaron Burr wins, I, I'm gonna be so disappointed. I, Aaron Aaron Burr would be my first ever first pick to the final. I final want it to be Aaron Burr so badly. No, Aaron Burr would be the funniest. Yeah. Because like, what did what did Willy Wonka do this episode? What did Jake do this episode? Not much, no. <laughs> what did anybody do this episode? It was very short because I'm tired as fuck. And also, there was no alliances, so it's just like, all right, who's going home? Yeah, pick someone random. I mean, as hosts, we're kind of this is kind of the short crowd. We're concise with it. Yeah, we don't have Vulcan here. One <laughs> each. <laughs> Three votes for Listen. Burr, two for Jake, three for Jake, four for Burr, four for Jake, five for Jake. Jake Blues wins in a five, four, one vote. Oh, damn. Wow. Getting votes from I mean... Alfred Packer, Chris Turk, Cool Trainer Jake, Jimmy Kudo, and Sebastian Wilder. Well, JD wins fan favorite. <laughs> I, I, hey. I guess. I'm not, and I'm not gonna lie. This, uh, this whole episode took about as long as a single round when Andre joins in the middle. Yeah. I mean, fair. Because well, Andre, Andre also has tangents and actual opinions that matter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Chris Turk got also, 19 votes. Jesus. They really hated his ass. They did. They uh, threw so hard. It was so funny. You, oh I, my god! I mean, having having Sebastian Wall just be like, you know what? Fuck you, cool kind of I think it would have been funnier if uh, if Jake, if one of the one with the first one to play the idol idled out the other one with an idol. That would have been better, but it was also hilarious having them be like, yeah, you just know, a I chain could, could, three times in a row. Like, I could break this alliance as far going to win, or I could just fuck over this rando person that's yeah. done nothing to me. Anyway, uh, thank you all for joining us for this episode. It was good. Um, Thanks, five people. That's mostly us. Yeah, we, uh, I can proudly, I proudly is a strong word. I can safely announce we will be at Mag West. We got five panels approved, including okay. Anime Survivor. So we will do this here live, do this there live. Uh, okay. I don't know when the panels Yay! are, but they will be at Mag West, which is in two months. Okay, so, uh, so now... thank you all, and remember, love one another.